Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPV. We have a customer that sent in two Vistas that have no power and one that has a broken bind button. And that happens to be this one here. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get the test set up here. Uh, I got a flight controller. Uh, where is it? Um, where is my stuff? Here it is. It's a test unit we have that I work on uh, when I'm testing like vistas and things like that. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, all right, so let me just go ahead and split the screen up here. So here's what we got. We're gonna go ahead and see, let's see where we're at with this first of all. It says that there's no power onto the unit. So I've got the soldering iron turned on. I've got all this ready to go. And all I'm gonna do is wire up the power in the ground. It's only two wires we need to test this one. So let's just go ahead and knock that out right now. Okay. And uh, we are right here. So let me get my old man glasses on. Let's get these wires out of the way real quick. There we go. Water on here doesn't look good. It looks like this thing may have gotten wet or something. I don't know. There's something wrong with the way the solder is on here. But let's just see if we can verify that we have nothing working properly. Okay, there's power and here will be ground. check just to make sure we don't have anything grounded. Okay, green looks good. Alright, so first thing that we're going to do Smoke stopper. It's plugged in. Let's see what the result is. Doesn't look bad actually. It looks pretty good. We have power now. I think they had a bad soldering spot on there to be honest with you, but now let's see if it turns green. Ah, and it's green. Perfect. Okay, so uh, so far that's success. So let's go ahead and move this. The next thing we need to do. And we just did a video on this one uh, not too long ago on one just like this. It's the same problem is we need to repair the bind button. It's broken, so we're going to put two small wires on there that will allow him to bind. And then we'll test this. And that'll be one Vista perfectly running. All right. But I would say that the, the unit itself does seem to have been uh, either it got wet, like I said, or something weird. Um, but in either case, okay, so what we need to do is we need to take the top plate off and we need to remove this piece here and that's going to disconnect the cable right there all right so now what we're going to do and i'll bring out the um, magnifying glass so you can see so for that to turn on give it one second there we go okay so what we're going to do if you look right here and I'll tell you because I just got done doing the same repair for someone and the issue is that people seem to think that it's left and right like like um, let me show you people think that it's this side and this side and that you need to do something here and it's not it's actually the front and the back so this is one port and or this is one spot and this is the other once you touch those two together you have yourself um, uh, binding. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this little switch because we don't need that. Okay. We will expose the button and area here. Right there. Okay. 
Let me just clean that off, kind of. It's not too tough to do. We just want to... There we go. Just gently kind of work it out off the board. All right, just like that. Let's see where we're at. Perfect. Okay. So remember, guys, we're talking about the front and the back, not left and right. Okay. And as you can see, I guess because in this one you can kind of see this, the front and the, the front are attached here, right? But we're not going to really worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of sever that just like it is and clean this board off to where we're working with just one section here. Okay. Now we're going to get our flux pen. Let's clean that up nicely. There we go. And then we're going to tin this up. So we're going to get some solder and let's tin up. We're just going to do the left pads here. So let's tin up the left pad. One here and one here. There we go. All right. I'm going to take a red and a black wire. Very small. These are very thin wires. You don't have to have anything major on this. So let's just do that. Okay, customer can actually cut these down when he's done. I don't know how long or short he would want them, so I'm just going to make the wires a good length here. And let me strip them real quick. And I'm just going to strip about that much of the wires, and then we're going to tin it, and then we're going to cut it back. So no, we're not going to keep it that long, but we want to get it to where we can really twist those uh, strands tight, just like that. Okay. Right, now let me move that out of the way and let me show you what we're going to do next. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our flux pen and we're going to hold, this, hold the strands while we spin the silicone. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to hold the strands while we spin the silicone. Get nice and tight, wound up like that. And then I'll just put like uh, the tweezers underneath so I can lift it off the pad a little bit, just like this. There you go. And then we're going to tin it up. Okay, so here it goes. There's one. Let's take the ground or the second switch uh, wire. I mean, put it right there, I guess, somewhere where you can see it. I hope. There you go. And we're gonna tin this one up too. Perfect. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take these wires and we're gonna cut them back to about oh I don't know a millimeter, a millimeter and a half, something very tiny. Like right there. That's what we want. Okay. Take the red one and we're going to do the same thing. Like right about there. Okay. Now let's take our unit here. And I can tell you, since I just got done doing one of these a couple days ago, that you can come in from the left here and then have enough room to turn the wire out. So you can come in just like this and then turn the wire down and you can still put the piece back on so I'm just going to go ahead and very quickly while I try to keep this on camera for you I'm just going to go ahead and try to tag this okay there's that one and let me go ahead and do the ground put my old man goggles on to do this, but I just don't want to right now. I'll look and see if I have a clean connection or not here. And it's close. I'm not so sure. Let's just get the continuity test. I'm going to probably put my glasses on and make sure, but I figured I'd, I'm trying not to use them too much. Yeah, we have continuity there. So let me just, now let me put my old man goggles on. God darn it hate these not I like the goggles but I just hate the fact that to wear them all the time all right let's get this off here actually I just saw that that may not be continuity it may have been from that side
zoom in here and see where I'm at. Okay, let's just clean this off. Now we'll do it with the goggles on, and it'll come out much nicer. Let's see if I can keep this under the camera for you guys to be able to watch. Okay, I guess those are some of the things I'll have to keep wearing these glasses for. It's some pretty small soldering, so I guess I don't have to be so upset about it. All right, so let's get to it now. Let's get back to what we're doing. Here we go. I put my regular glasses back on. Let's put the unit back together. Like this. There we go. And what we're going to do is once we verify that these work, and to do that, all we're gonna do is strip the wire down, like this here, okay? That's it. I will put some silicone on there in a little bit to make sure that it is protected. Let's just plug this in, and let me get my, let me get my DJI goggles so I can verify it works. Get his camera hooked up. Let's see where is he at on this. All right, put the camera in, that looks good. Hey Sam, yeah. there's a way to get that, I just thought about it. If we go into the inventory program, we can remove that uh, tag, and then instead of you having to do it by the product, we can just remove that tag, and then we just put it back in when you're done. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Got power, got everything. All right. And now we've got our stuff. Everything's right here. So let me just go and place that on. I'm not going to screw anything down just yet. Just place that on there. Let's power it up. Okay, we got our red light. Try to turn this on so you can see that there. Go ahead and power up my goggles. Okay, we're gonna wait for the green light. All right, now, what we wanna do is we wanna to touch these two together. And there it goes, see how it went to red now? Now I can take my goggles, come on over here, 
and there we go and I can now see out uh, you're not gonna be able to see that but you could tell that you can see something look I'll pass my hand in front of there I don't know if you see that in the goggles or not but you can see something happen so there we go so this one is perfectly repaired and working awesome so let me power that off let me turn the goggles off okay and there you guys go on how to redo your bind button on your Vista and how to check for any power issues. This one seemed to have a bad soldering uh, there at the power and ground location, but everything's working perfect, okay? So hope that helps, guys. If you have any other questions, hit me up at cyclingfpv.com. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got a part two on this one, which is gonna be his other Vista, but I wanna end this one here because it's very specific to the problem it's having, which was power and bind button. So now you know how to repair both. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some silicone on there, close this up and send this back to him and work on the second one. Uh, guys, I'll talk to you later. Uh, Merry Christmas, God bless, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace.